Hey gang, welcome to your review channel. So if you have one of these fiberware coffee makers and it doesn't work, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Real super simple. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let's get to the video. You won't believe it's stated at the end and I'm gonna show you how this works exactly. You gotta be freaking out at the end of this video. All right, let's go. Hey guys, well thanks for tuning into your review channel. So today we're talking about this fiberware little coffee maker. Um, so if you're on the, uh, out on the road or in the field or going through an estate sale, you run into one of these and they have a little plug in the back. So most of the time they don't come with a plug. So if you find these out at a yard sale, if you're sourcing, you might not find the plug. So I got one of these pretty reasonably, pretty reasonable. Um, checked it out, uh, didn't work. I said, well, I didn't have the cord, so I couldn't test if it worked or not. So I opened it up. And check the inside. It looked pretty decent inside. You can see it's pretty clean. Not too bad whatsoever. You get a little bit light here. Um, and it's a really simple fix. You won't believe how cool this is. So first thing I did was, of course, was I found a cord. So I went online and I found a cord. It's a special cord. It's not the standard half inch um, cord. This is like a three quarter inch um, width cord. That's how pretty much these are marketed. Uh, so you know, so it's either a half inch or three quarter inch. I'll leave a link um, down below, we are, you can get one of these cords. Really kind of cool. I think they're like 15, 20 bucks, but you need this. So if you don't have the cord, you have to get a cord. So I got the cord, plugged it in, and turned it on, and nothing. And the way you can tell real quickly, you just put your hand right in the bottom of the, of the um, pot, and you can feel it getting warm. As soon as you feel it getting warm, take your hand out, unplug it, you know it's working. That's a quick way of doing it. But this was nothing. It was dead. So I was kind of bumming out. I said, wow, how can I fix this? And how can I show other people how to fix this. I couldn't figure it out. So I, there was a screw in the bottom of this. I said, that screw looks like that looks like a screw. So I was gonna take that screw out. And I said to myself, well, maybe there's another way. So I turned it over and you're gonna freak out with this. So this here, I was, I was playing with it and I was just touch, with touching it and, and, and moving it around. And this is pretty much down just by inserted by a, a plate. So it's locked in, but not really locked in. It's twist, you twist it to unlock it. And if you see here, it has little grooves here. And once you line up, it's like a puzzle. Once you line it up, this pops off. Again, it's like this when you when you get it, it's, it <clears throat> kind of locks, okay? And just twist it to the left. It just moves back and forth as you can see here, okay? So all you have to do is pop off. This comes right off. Check that out. Comes right off, right? And look what's inside here. Check this out. This is amazing, okay? So what happened here, as you can see here, this is like an old fashioned, let's call it a thermal switch or a, a safeguard. So how this works, this is a, an old, I don't know if they still do this or not. Um, if, if they do, leave some comments down below. Let me know if you ran into this or this is helping you because this is really, really cool. So look at this notch here. So the notch is actually burnt out of here. So what happened was it was on here. This is tension driven, so this, this little wire. So how this works is that you have one connection here Okay, that goes into the, the to the element and this touches the space here right spring loaded so the spring loaded is the answer so it sits on the element i'll put it to the next lock latch here and now once that's locked this is now touching the contact which makes the circuit which gets this hot so i plugged it in tested it works so that's what it is so what happens is a lot of times people use these runs out of water they overheat this is melt this is plastic it melts the plastic just like you see here all right, and then basically it pops it like a fuse would <clears throat> disconnects it and it just basically shuts it off so that's like a safe guide so it won't burn your house down so this is how they did it and you get one two three four five six seven eight shots and then once that happens once it's uh, you have the eight, eight chances not to burn it out only one one popped so if you have one of these take the bottom off most likely it has this disc here turn it to the next one like you see here pop it in the connection automatic here it connects and you're good to go. That's how easy it is to fix this. So if you plug it in and it doesn't work, this is how you fix it. Now, if I brought you some value, please let me know. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This is such a cool, cool video. And if it happens again, you just keep going and going and going. So it has a safeguard, so don't let it overheat with water. Make sure there's water in it because it overheats. It's just gonna heat up this element here. It's gonna burn that plastic. I think it's plastic. Um, and then pop it, and then basically that's the thermal switch. That's kind of like an old Old school thermal switch, I guess. I'm not really sure, um, but that's how that works. So I wanted to just show you how that works. Um, also, if you're enjoying the video and if I brought you some value, there's also a super thanks on my channel. Super thanks. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and it helped save you some time and some money, consider um, uh, adding a little value to my channel and give a little donation to my channel. It helps support me and I can continue doing what I'm doing to help you 
so you can do things much faster and much better. So that's what that's for. So that's a new thing I just received, and I really want to I want to thank everybody for watching all my videos. And then basically, you just put this back. Oh, you just put this back, and you just line up the holes. Right, it's nothing more than a big puzzle, which is very cool. Line it up to that hole. Line up to that hole. Twist and lock, and that is it. Simple, easy, breezy. <clears throat> Plug it in. It works perfectly, and that's how that works. All right, guys, appreciate that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love this idea. This is fantastic. Um, and don't forget to share this video with anybody else you see. So if you're out in the field and you're looking for, you see these coffee makers and you want to see if it works and it doesn't work, that's an easy fix. Most likely it's that. Anything else, I doubt it because these are, these are designed to fail so you won't burn the house down. And that's what it's for. All right, guys, I appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe like I said before. And I'll see you at the next review.